Next, I would like to call upon the Vice Chancellor and the President of Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Professor William Ellis. I would also like to add that during his leadership, uh, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology has been voted as the number one university in Ghana. And recently I heard that it has been voted as number one university in West Africa. So congratulations, Vice Chancellor. Amagacha did not hear that. <laughs> uh, good evening, distinguished invited guests and colleague faculty members uh, from Guelph present here. I have a very short presentation looking at KNUST and Canada partnership. First and foremost, I want to thank you all for coming and for making this program a success. The Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, which is in Kumasi, a central part of the country, like many other Ghanaian institutions, have over the years benefited from several Canadian assistance programs and projects. These benefits or the outputs of these projects have been very significant and have been in, have expanded to cover areas such as faculty and student exchanges, scholarships, staff and students training, infrastructure development, equipment pages and donations, joint research and publications, and a lot of experience being shared between partners. It may interest you to know that the Faculty of Renewable Natural Resources in the College of Agri and Natural Resources and CEDA's relationship <coughs> spans a period of more than 15 years. Therefore, my presentation will shed light on some of the specific benefits that KNUST as an institution has enjoyed from some of the Canadian uh, relationships. And the first one I want to look at is the University of Guelph, our partnership with the University of Guelph. The University of Guelph, like other many Ghanaian institutions, has had a long-standing relationship or collaboration <coughs> with a lot of institutions in Ghana. And we just heard from uh, Gordon. <coughs> One of such collaborations with the KNUST is the Agroforestry Practices to Enhance Resource Poor Livelihoods Projects the APEL project, which uh, we are here today, and we've been talking about. It's in its sixth year, and looking at the output of all the projects, we are very satisfied when you consider the uh, project implementation plan and what has come out of it. The project is being funded by CIDA, Professor Andrew M. Gordon is the director of the CEDA Appel project in Ghana. And this, the agreement in relation to this between Guelph and Kia University was signed in July of 2007. Professor Naresh Tabatasan is the project manager. And Naresh and Gordon, together with the collaborators in Ghana, Professor Drew and his team have worked very hard. They've had a lot of high-level publications coming out of this research, of this project. The significant impacts that have resulted from this project I have grouped under two major categories. The first one is the community impact 
or transformation that have taken place out of, as a result of this uh, relationship, then institutional development or academic uh, development. Under the community impact transformation, we've had community outreach development. A lot of initiatives and innovations have come out in terms of awareness creation between the communities. These have been documented, and I'm sure that Professor Drew would talk about this in detail. There have been the establishment of micro livestock and small ruminant enterprises within the communities where they've worked and they've made major impacts. There's also been the introduction of post-harvest technologies. These have been uh, transferred to the members of the community. <coughs> then some of the policies that have been developed have also been introduced or has, been, uh, has reignited discussion on agroforestry issues within our district and metropolitan assemblies. Now, when we look at institutional development, there's been staff development, that's faculty training. Uh, at least we have one PAD and about five MSCs being trained out of this. There's also the continuous professional development where we have had a lot of technicians come down and their knowledge upgraded in new equipments. There's also been the infrastructure development or enhancement. Two GIS centers have been established, one on the main campus and the other one at our Sunyani campus. There's been the retooling of our laboratories and I think the video showed that. Then they've also contributed in terms of upgrading of the library at the Faculty of Renewable Natural Resources, which is also at the disposal of the students of the university. We've also had student exchange. We've had postgraduate students who have come down to Guelph to carry out some of their research work. We value this partnership and in appreciation of all that has come out, out of this project, the university through its council during the 60th anniversary acknowledged the significant contributions of the director of the project, Professor Andrew Gordon, and also honored Professor Naresh Tavetasan with an honorary doctorate in science for his on-ground contributions. Now, our relationship with Lakehead University. KNUST also worked with Lakehead, and the project focused on staff development programs and also assisted in capacity building in the area of uh, geographic information systems. Then there was a Ghana Canada in Concert project. This was a project between KNUST, Lakehead, and the University of Guelph. And I think Gordon spoke about that. KNUST benefited through this project with respect to staff development, capacity building in GIS. And then one unique thing was that this project touched a lot of communities, enhancing the status of the rural poor especially in the Brown of regions, the northern parts of the country, and some parts of the central regions of Ghana. Then we've also had relationships with the University of Western Ontario. With Western Ontario, it has spanned quite some years. But currently, the University of Western Ontario Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering has had some relationship with the Department of Agricultural Engineering in the College of Engineering. And this has resulted in a number of Ghanaian students who are doing their master's and doctoral programs come over for short term to 
the University of Western Ontario. These students' exchange have been funded by the Department of Foreign Affairs and International Trade through the Canadian Bureau of International Education under the auspices or under the Graduate Students Exchange Program. Interestingly, uh, as you normally expect, some of them would stay <laughs> and, and others would come. In projects of this nature, uh, those are the benefits. It should be mutual. Uh, so <laughs> we, some of them came back and others also stayed. But we know that they are all working in strategic areas in natural science and engineering, both here in Canada and also in Ghana. Recently, uh, through the collaborations uh, funded, there's been a project on biodiesel, and this has been funded by the Canada Africa Research Grant, sponsored by IDRC, through the Association of Universities and Colleges of Ghana. This collaboration has facilitated staff and student exchange and also resulted in joint publication. Then there is the McGill University linkage. This relationship was between the Department of Biochemistry and Biotechnology at KN University and McGill University's Food Science Department. The project focused on the development of food processing technologies and it was funded by IDRC and then SIDA. It covered areas in respect of staff development and resulted in the establishment of the Food Science and Technology Department at K University. Currently, the department trains from undergraduate BSc level all the way to the PhD level. Adaptable technologies and a lot of publications also resulted from this project. I am one of the products of this initiative. So if anything at all, the KNUST Canada or CEDA relationship has produced a president of a university. <laughs> Now the way forward, from the letter that I've presented, you realize that this partnership has been beneficial. A lot of experiences are shared between the universities here in Canada and those in Ghana, specifically KN University. We believe that this partnership should continue and should be strengthened. We believe that it should focus more on development research. And we also believe that there should be the continual institutional development with respect to staff and student exchange program and the sharing of experiences. Currently, when you look at my university, uh, we have aging staff because our uh, pension age is 60 years. So there are a lot of people who are getting to 60, and we need to replace them. In that respect, we need to develop our postgraduate programs very well in a lot of areas so that we can be able to replace those who would leave the system. If we are not able to do that, then we are in trouble. So there's the need to look at some of these issues. In conclusion, as I've already indicated, the support of Canada and Canadian institutions to institutions in Ghana, including KN UST, has been very significant. It is our hope that the various collaborations will be strengthened and new ones established for our mutual benefits. Thank you very much.